We really are pushing the envelope of what is known about sports injury recovery, sports medicine. There is no other laboratory like this in the nation. We really are the first. Immersion in water basically has a tremendous number of effects on the human body, most of them positive. Aquatic immersion basically improves the efficiency of the way the heart works, so that in individuals with heart disease, it may be an ideal way of exercising safely. As a physician in rehabilitation, I started to use aquatic therapy for spinal cord injury patients, traumatic brain injury patients, stroke patients, multiple sclerosis, many other diseases, and was astonished at how effective it was. It turns out that we have a huge number of soldiers that have come out of the Afghanistan-Iraq wars, and as a consequence, the Army basically has looked at whether or not an aquatic activity program would be useful. I've done some working with wounded warriors. It's very exciting that they're going to be using the water in that way, because I believe that the effects can be tremendously positive for rehabilitating soldiers. Well, the problem with wartime injuries frequently is that there is an effect of post-traumatic stress disorder as accompanying whatever kind of orthopedic trauma there has been. As an individual is sitting in warm water, the body regulates itself in a way to essentially increase a relaxation response and decrease a stress response. When your stress response stays high, a bunch of bad things happen to your heart, to your endocrine system, to your psychological status, and all of those kinds of factors. And what we've shown with warm water immersion is that we can downregulate the stress response. And so it may be that aquatic activity has a potential for being therapeutically effective in the management of post-traumatic stress disorder. I'm hopeful that there'll be an effect with this.